What's up guys? It's your boy Kocho. Uh, today's a little bit different, as you guys can see. I'm not <laughs> I'm not in my uh, in my studio, in my office, but I still have to make a video for you guys. guys is this in the third quarter bradley beal had 55 points in the in the third quarter scott brook sat him for a long period for a long period of time and when he brought him back into the game you could tell that bradley was out of rhythm okay so it just got me thinking as coaches at what point do we take a player's personality how they play and how they how they play and a player's rhythm into consideration when we make these coaches decision also my second question to you is this one what do you if you were in that same situation as Scott Brooks how do you handle that situation you have a player that's hot 55 points you made you made a comeback and how do you handle what is your strategy or how do you handle going into the fourth quarter? Me personally, if you tell Bradley Beal, Bradley Beal is a non-pattern player. So Bradley Beal doesn't need sets. He could go ISO. He needs his rhythm with his dribble. He feels the defense. He has this feel for the game. If you sit Bradley Beal, so let's take it from the top. He goes through, 50, through those three quarters and has 55 points. As a coach, you have to understand that in the third quarter, in the first couple of quarters, it's not the same game as the fourth quarter where teams lock up and try to win the game. So the way that he got his 55 in the third quarter, he's not going to be able to get it that way. What would I have done if I was Scott Brooks? You're almost better off, and I get it, you know, in the NBA, they have their rules where they want to sit a player, give him that rest to make him finish the game. But what you have to understand is that he under he knows that he's hot. Everybody knows that he's hot. So the psychology of your team changes when he's out of the game and when he comes back in. So when Bradley Beal comes back into the game, what happens is that all focus is on him. Your team doesn't play the same way because they know he's the hot man. He's having a career night. The other team doesn't play the same way because now they go from playing regular defense to locking in on that one option that you have and giving up shots to your other team and forcing your other guys to make shots. So... I think rhythm is so important, and I think it's something that we need to take into consideration. Now, what would I have done? I think you're almost better off leaving Bradley Beal to start the fourth. The game is going to slow down in the fourth quarter as teams lock in. So the same type of free-flowing basketball is not the same in the third quarter as it is in the fourth. Teams are more careful. Teams are going for the win. So teams are more cautious. They're not taking as many risks. They're overthinking it a little bit, which ends up happening with Washington. Washington, the players, you could feel that they were overthinking it. They were like, okay, I got to get the ball to Bradley Beal. I got to do it. I got to do it. And it messes the whole psychology of your team. I'm almost better off leaving Bradley Beal in the game, letting Bradley Beal um, get a feel. He's out there. He's a threat. Understand that the game is going to slow down, so he's going to be able to get his rest periodically. And you might be better off even taking a timeout, having him sit, or even take him out for like maybe eight minutes and put him back in for the six. But the mindset of the fourth quarter was hard because as soon as he stepped in, it was like, everybody was like, okay, we're going to rely on Bradley Beal to win the game, which is not the case. So, 
we get Bradley Bill on one side and we have Clay Thompson on the other side. Clay Thompson gets a lot of his points without dribbling. It's catch and shoot. It's reads, right? You guys still remember he had like 60 points in three quarters by taking like 11, but I under like 20 dribbles, he got 60 points. Bradley Beal is not able to do that. He's a different type of player. So a lot of players get their rhythm off of when they are in the game, they kind of flow. You could tell like some of them have this little cadence that they have to their steps. When they're dribbling, they get a little rhythm, right? Clay Thompson doesn't need that rhythm, whereas Bradley Beal is more of a, it needs that cadence. Yeah, and the difference is like, if Bradley Veal was a catch and shoot player, then he doesn't need that rhythm. He just needs space and field depending on what the teammates. But then again, same thing is, a catch and shoot player is reliant on other people giving him the ball. Whereas um, a non-pattern player like Bradley Beal is, is able to free flow going into the game. So he is a hot player right now. Teams are automatically locking in on him. that you're going to be playing four-on-three basketball for a whole quarter. He's not using all that energy. He's actually, all he has to do is make a pass and let his other teammates operate. So you actually spend less energy because instead of driving, forcing shots up or whatever, your attention creates for your teammates. So yeah, another thought-provoking video for you guys. Um, yeah, so I want to hear what will you do if you're a player. If you're a player, how do you feel about that situation? And if you're a coach, what do you think you should do? What was your approach going into the fourth quarter? Something to think about. I think uh, it's very interesting. I think we have to take into consideration what our players need. And in this specific scenario, Bradley Beal needs, uh, he has a feel for the game. So if you take him out, he kind of loses that feel because sitting on the sideline and feeling out what's happening is not the same thing. And then you get the added element of when he comes back in, the defense switches, the defense adjusts. That's something to think about. So yeah, I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say about that. So another thought provoking video for you guys. This is Coach O. Let's keep the conversations going. I really love this. So. It's Coach O signing off.